morning everybody <laughs> Ooh, the video is like a boom boom i saw i saw myself and then i didn't see myself anymore uh morning everybody this is uh elena i am live <laughs> i love to say that for me it's like saying i'm alive yes i'm alive and i'm live here in front of me on facebook and on instagram and if you cannot join me live it's okay you can watch the reply later because i know life is busy right and not everybody can join live <laughs> so thank you for being here today i'm gonna be talking uh about traveling we are in july 21st we are almost halfway through the summer and i'm gonna be talking about how to stay on track when we are you know traveling when we have trips eating out barbecues etc and some tips to implement on your trips and stay on track. My name is Elena Rivera Galaz. I'm original from Spain. I moved to the States 11 years ago. And my passion is to help women to find together the plan, the wellness and fitness plan that work and fits your life style. Without dieting, together we will find that plan for long-term results no quick fixes, no dieting, no starving yourself. There is a better way to health and wellness. And that's my mission and my passion to help you out because I know how hard changing is. And if you know my story, you know that I've been struggling since I was a teenager with the Jojo effect and uh, with food and trying to lose weight. And that's why I I have invested years of studying and helping and coaching because I know that there is a better way. <laughs> and I, I don't want you to go through what I what I went. But there's I'm not gonna talk about that today. Today, let's uh if you have questions, comments, uh I don't see your name right now and I cannot answer. I will answer all your questions after this video is done. And uh let's start it. Let's start it um talking about okay, <laughs> it's summer. Uh, we have lots of uh, commitments, busy schedules, barbecues, maybe trips, ca camping, hiking, flying out, maybe going to Europe or uh, unexpected trips, unexpected dinners out. And you are uh, you are trying, I don't know, to lose weight or, or, or drop your body fat or stay active and healthy, start eating healthier. And you think, oh, man, but it's summer. <sighs> I'm ever better stay, uh, start on September, right? We do that a lot. And, and I always say, why do we think that there is like a certain month, certain time that is better to start, to start taking care of ourselves? For me, the best month that you can start taking care of yourself is the month that you decide to start taking care of yourself. Makes sense? Like why wait on September when we live on that on that mindset or oh then there is December too there is I don't know winter break when we are on that mindset what we are saying sometimes could be like okay I will start in September so now I have like a month and a half to do whatever I want and instead there is a better way why don't we say okay it's summer maybe I cannot. I don't have control of a lot of things, but I can be flexible. And by being flexible, you can start implementing little things during the summer. You don't have to wait until September. And by the way, if you decide to wait until September, on September, I'm going to launch my first group coaching for women. I've been coaching one on one for a while, but I decided to create this group so I can reach out to more people, I can help more women, and also the investment is lower than having one-on-one -on -one coach with also, there's three packages, different packages that you can even pick the one that will give you one monthly one-on-one -on -one session with me. Otherwise, it will, you also will be having one session every week with the whole group. Lots of educations, how to eat, positive habits, uh, knowing about macros, uh, ratios that what macros do you need for your specific needs. So if you want to know more about the program, ask me, uh, send me a DM or um, go to my website, perfect with I, 
uh, for me that can perfect for me that can I will put it on the comments and see if this program is for you or for maybe your sister your friend your neighbor is been struggling for a while now you can talk to her about this group that is coming on September anyway so talking about um, not waiting to make changes you can start right now where you are today implementing something but not going to the first tip is yes ah, don't think about all or nothing that mindset of all or nothing oh if i say okay i'm gonna start tomorrow cutting sugar completely then you th you can your mindset is like okay if i'm gonna start tomorrow today i can eat all the sugar that i want so i'm gonna go to the store and buy all the treats and sugar that i want because tomorrow i'm gonna start or tomorrow i'm gonna start fasting or tomorrow i'm gonna start exercising or whatever why don't you say why don't you start right now by saying what can i do today to start start that journey maybe just by adding i'm gonna start drinking more water today focus on that i'm gonna start adding one ounce of protein today start with that and honestly this chart that mentality all or nothing and i will talk more about that uh, another day the second tip is when you have a trip coming up maybe this weekend today is thursday it's thursday <laughs> so maybe tomorrow you are going on a camping trip or you are going hiking or you are going out flying plan ahead plan 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 ahead is super important it's like when you you are gonna you need to catch a flight at 5 a.m you don't you set an alarm right you don't say oh i'm sure i'm gonna wake on time i don't need the alarm i don't need to plan or i don't need to pack pack anything i will do it tomorrow morning when i wake up no you set an alarm or two or three or four to make sure that you are at the airport two three hours before your flight takes off or you don't pack the morning when you wake up. I hope you don't do that. You plan, you make a list, you go to the grocery store, you check what you need. You check the requirements on that country that you are going, if the you know, vaccination and all of that. So with nutrition, it's the same. If you are going to go to a trip, check, check, plan ahead. Okay, bring X snacks to your trip that supports your goals. You will be amazed how many things you can bring on a fly <laughs> on your on your on your backpack like snacks snacks wise or if you are going to a hotel bring the snacks with you or check if there is grocery stores nearby the second the another tip that i can give you is when you are going to plan eating out on your trip check the menu before you go to the restaurant why because when you are sitting and hungry it's harder to make wise choices or maybe once you are there, you realize that the menu doesn't, you know, there is nothing healthy there or nothing that, you know, you that support your goals. And it's OK if you decide to be flexible and say, I'm going to eat whatever is there and you are OK with that, do it. But if you are trying to, to make healthier choices, check the menu at the hotel. Go check the menu and say, oh, there is this. Oh, I can mix this with this. Oh, this looks delicious, but mm, it doesn't have protein or doesn't. OK, let's pick that one see what i'm saying the next tip is uh, a snack <laughs> i say this a lot on high protein foods and i'm gonna give you at the end of the video some choices protein is very satisfying is uh, you know the thermogenic effect too and it's gonna keep you full longer rather than simple sugars or snacks high processed foods so pick choices that are very high in protein bring an anti-insulated water bottle so hydration i talked about that last week too because uh we don't think about this but maybe you go, you are going to go to a place where there is no stores to buy um, water and uh, bring your own water your bottle because maybe you're going to be active and, and walking and hiking make sure that you hydrate yourself so important and if you are not planning on you cannot work out during your trip which is fine when i go to trips i'm super flexible with that i don't I don't usually plan on workout when I'm on vacation and uh, plan stay active, walking, hiking. Just why, you know, when we are on vacations, we, are, we usually are more active and that's fine. That could be your, your exercise during that trip. Be flexible. Um, also, if you decide to give yourself some treats, plan your treats ahead. 
if you're going to you're going to stay on track on your nutrition plan plan ahead and say okay we are going to be out five days we are going to be eating out on friday and sunday so those days i'm going to treat myself with something plan ahead and enjoy it no guilt allowed okay enjoy your treats another um so those are some of the of the tips that my clients implement and myself uh if you have more if you need more tips more ideas reach out to me and i'm gonna give you before i go some snacks that my clients and myself bring to my trips this is a life changer i used to not plan and freak out and the anxiety that going on on, on trips in not knowing what foods were there because i have also some um i was diagnosed with ibs so i have to i have some limitations so i need to plan and also it mentally my mindset and my anxiety goes it goes to the roof when i don't plan and i don't know what is going to be there and it, i'm irritable and makes the, the the trip very hard for me and for my family they can tell you but when i plan and i bring my my snacks i feel more in control and i enjoy more and i'm flexible when i'm on vacations okay you cannot pretend to do the same that you do when you are at home you have more control when you are at home you can control what you eat you can control what you cook but when you go on vacations there is so many things that you have no control there is some control more than you think but sometimes maybe there is not nothing healthy to eat so there is no control so be flexible be okay when you come back from your trip you can go back to your plan and your routine okay let's talk about finish with some uh, amazing snacks that you can bring on your trip once the first ones don't need refrigeration like protein bars but with protein bars yes it's a processed food but pick one high quality protein bar low in sugar or no sugar and high in protein by that i mean 15 20 grams of protein because some protein bars say protein bar and then you read the ingredient it's like four grams of protein huh is that a high protein bar <laughs> it's like four grams of protein really okay high protein bars jerky or beef sticks if you like them those are like um it's meat that have been trained of fat cut and dried bring those don't need refrigeration tuna tuna is loaded with with protein if you like tuna bring tuna and, and some um veggies peanut butter with apples who doesn't like peanut butter and apples mm, right energy balls not bake energy balls there is so many recipes out there about how to make energy balls and when i make my energy balls i load my energy balls with protein powder I should make another video that how I make my energy balls. Almonds, chickpeas, like roasted chickpeas, um, high in protein, but also high in uh, carbs, the, the chickpeas. Protein shakes, protein shakes, no need refrigeration, shaker ready to drink high protein. Hey, hey. Edamame, Do, edamame is, uh, is uh, high in protein and it's a, an amazing smack. Smack, <laughs> snack. <laughs> bananas dry fruit dark chocolate dark chocolate can help you with your cravings we talked about cravings last week kale chips have you tried kale chips they sell kale chips but i make my 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 own that i posted the other the other day and i can show you super easy takes two minutes the preparation 10 15 minutes in the oven crunchy and one of my son loves kale chips and he's only five cacao nibs cacao nibs is pure cacao that you can add to your coffee to your tea to your treats to your yogurt and is full of antioxidants zinc magnesium amazing collagen collagen they sell individual packages of collagen and you can put it on your tea on your coffee and you get 15 to 20 grams of protein okay those are the snacks that don't need refrigeration and there is the other ones that need some refrigeration so, but still you can bring those to your trip and eat them the first couple days greek yogurt plain plain greek yogurt one cup has 20 grams of protein and you can add some nuts healthy fats some berries full of antioxidants hard boiled eggs if you like hard boiled eggs uh boil them before you go to your trip <laughs> celery carrots cucumber with yogurt dip or uh hummus hummus with some celery mm, cucumber uh carrots mm, so yummy cheese sticks high in fat but also have 
protein. Uh, cook chicken. You can cook chicken and put it in a in a ziplock and bring it with you. Berries, nuts, seed like seeds like chia, pumpkin seeds, smoothies. Yes, you can do smoothies when you are on a trip. I was checking online there, like for twenty, thirty dollars, like portable uh, blenders. They don't need to plug in, just batteries. And you can bring your protein powder, some berries or some milk or water, and some uh, maybe a banana, banana, milk, protein powder, put it in the blender, Shh, blender, boom. You have your, your fats, if you add some nuts, you have your protein, you have your healthy carbs, healthy fats, healthy, healthy snack that is gonna keep you um, full longer during the, those trips and long days sounds so 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 fun okay so so these are some of my tips and i have more and but i think uh this is enough for today i hope this helps and uh ask me ask me if you need uh reach out to me if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna have more tips or if you decide like hey i need a coach help me to bring bring that create that um plan that is going to give me those results that I always wanted long term. Reach out to me. I have open spots for one on one private clients. The group coaching is coming on September. Reach out to me. Visit my website, perfect with I, perfectforme.com. And I'm, uh, or join my private group, uh, Better Way to, for Health and Wellness, uh, Macros and Habits, Ditch the Diets. And I give tips every week and tell me what else you, 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 you need help with. I'm so happy that you were here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be flexible, plan ahead, and let me tell you, there is a better way for your health and wellness goals. Thank you. <laughs> Coach Elena, see you next week. Bye. <laughs> now I have to stop the live video.